She's recognized for her many hit songs, remembered for evoking a wide range of emotions, and is universally known by one name, Adele. The pianist sitting right alongside her for all of her hit ballads is from our area, born and raised in Philadelphia. Tonight, he shares with me how he made it to the top, who helped him get there, and the one night he'll never forget. I would come home from school and I would eat some food, and I would go upstairs in my room and I'd practice until I fell asleep. All Eric Wortham wanted to do was play the piano. And then I would wake up, practice a little bit before I go to school. And now he does for one of the most successful singers of our time. Chapman's what was it like when you got that call that, yes, Adele wanted you? You were the chosen one. I lost it, man. You know what's crazy? The way that I am, none of, it's still not etched in stone. I still have to do an amazing job every day. Yeah, that's, that's just ingrained in me. Like, it's, I take nothing for granted. Eric says he wouldn't be where he is today without the kindness of a stranger. That gentleman right there changed my life. This is Rich Gallicini. Hey, man. Good to see you, my friend. Who led him into his piano showroom in Germantown every day after school. It's a special place in my heart for Rich, man. Like, he... Yeah, he, this 14-year-old kid comes into his piano factory, this gorgeous piano factory. He was very polite. He was very, um, he said so, so, something like, sir, do you mind if I play pianos? So I said, do you play piano? He said, yeah, I, yeah, I'm trying. I do remember, I'm like, hmm, there's something to this kid. This is a talented kid. And he came back and came back and came back. And I'll just sit there and I'll just practice, 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 practice till like seven, eight at night and I'll go home. I can't imagine what it was like walking into Cunningham. You must have been like a kid in a candy store seeing all these pianos and all yeah. you wanted to do was play. This is gonna sound crazy, but it was almost like they all were flirting with me. Like, come play me. Like, no, come play. Like, this. like they're like fighting each other. They were all trying to get your <laughs> they were attention. To, they were trying to woo me, Jackie. They were trying to woo me. I was just letting a kid play. And he's not the first, and he's not the last. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's me. Eric's mastery of the piano always on display. And for one Emmy-winning night, the emotion hit an even higher note. That particular performance was, my, my, my mind and my head and my heart was in a much different place because that was a day after my dad passed away. So I used the pain and like the, the sadness of that loss and I funneled it through that, her emotionally charged music and I don't think there's a better place I could have been. I could see how I'm feeling, I could see it. Doing it for his dad and always returning home. And I decided to turn the tables, hoping for some piano pointers. I still need a lot of work and more time observing the best, doing what he loves the most, with the woman setting the world on fire. So she's wicked smart. Um, I mean, listen to her lyrics. I mean, she's brilliant. And she deserves everything, if, if not more. She's an unbelievable human being. Thank God every day, just keep on that path to, that has gotten me here, which is humility, um, faith, yeah. you know, family, love, and happiness, laughter. Remembering what's important and never forgetting where he came from. Just some of his key qualities along with his passion, love for the instrument, and that unstoppable work ethic. What an honor to talk to him. Really a special guy. We were down in the newsroom talking about this. Yeah. If you just watched that story, you think, oh, this is his first year doing this, maybe. He's so humble. Yes. And yet, how long has he been going? No, he's been doing this for eight years, touring with Adele <laughs> eight for eight years. years, and he still treats every day like his first day. Yeah. He's not getting comfortable. He's not getting complacent. 
he's just working hard and always trying to get better, but he really is remarkable. He stays humble, he stays ready, and he's always giving back, too. It's incredible. So we learned that he's modest. We also learned that who knows how long we got with Jackie here. She's got a second career as a right. pianist, she right, She might Brittany? be filling yeah. in for yeah. I need Isaac one day. I need Eric to give me a lot smooth. of lessons. No, no, that I need him. Smooth. He needs to help me out a little bit, just a little bit. It's